Okay, welcome to the last tutorial of day one. Uh, happy to have Jackie uh, talking about Git, the GitLab release stages. So uh, without further ado, Jackie, I'll turn things over to you and uh, you have, uh, thanks for putting the slides together and uh, tell us everything you want to tell us about release and how community members can help. Awesome. Thanks, Ray, for the intro. Well, as a foundation, release management is within the ops section of GitLab, meaning it is the portion of the life cycle where people are packaging and releasing their software. So there's some key features and key pieces of release as a part of this product uh, spectrum. These include continuous delivery, release orchestration, pages, review apps, feature flags, release evidence, and secrets management. When we think about the three-year vision for the release stage, it's composed of those two major areas of release management and progressive delivery. Under release management, I'm the person who owns that vision and my team is really working to empower all organizations to effectively deploy their software when, where, and how they want to while supporting a natural, secure, and traceable process. The things that I'm focusing on uh, this quarter and for the rest of the year are mostly in the release orchestration and secrets management categories within release management. Progressive delivery is doing a lot of really cool work around continuous delivery, uh, especially when it comes to advanced deployments using something like feature flags and our auto deploy templates within auto DevOps. When I look at the areas that we've developed in the past year or so, uh, their key features are around the releases page. Um, and a piece of that is also displaying environments and the environments dashboard. This is where the community could really help improve our releases page experience by enabling more uh, features and parity within the releases page from our competitors. So for example, we have a lot of features around assets and publishing releases that would be really useful to start getting more enhancements on. When we look at how to navigate and where you can contribute, there's a couple of different filters that I have to make it really easy. One of them is accepting merge requests. So any issue that has the flag accepting merge requests and is in the ready for development column will allow our developers to just pick up and then we're ready to review it. There's a couple of features around um, permanent links to the latest version of release and automatic insertion of change logs into releases that are really exciting for our users. Uh, additionally, when we think about empowering organizations and empowering developers to release their binaries, distribute those binaries, there might be a, a case where they want to publish those releases on the release page without giving access to the source code. So this feature would be a really great opportunity to help enable a bunch of users to better leverage GitLab releases like they would be using uh, GitHub releases for. We also have a couple of other enhancements that were really looking forward to, to potentially getting built into the solution, including uh, chat notifications when deployments start, web hooks related to deployments are a really great way to create automation around your releases workflow. And we have a lot of users that would be really excited about having these features built natively into GitLab. We also have some low hanging fruit features where if you have a label on an issue that says low hanging fruit, these are typically weighted uh, with one MR or less and they may be a feature or a bug. Some examples of these are going to be enhancing buttons um, or conforming to a button style in the front end or potentially um, implementing GraphQL endpoints. So if you're excited about using GraphQL and instrumenting those endpoints, we have several of those issues in low hanging fruit. That kind of concludes exactly where we're looking to direct people to help contribute to the release management functionality and stage. Uh, on a process side, 
any of these features that you look to develop, it'll go through a review cycle with one of the developers on the release management team. Our idea is to prioritize community contributions and get them merged in as quickly as possible. So the team is really excited to potentially have a lot more contributions uh, in release management for them to review and work with the community on. Ray, that's about it. Any questions or any areas where I should further yeah, I mean, dive into? No, I mean, yeah, thanks for this. I mean, this is a nice overview uh, with a lot of info on the slides. Uh, the other label that I was, uh, that we have is, uh, we have a label called good for new contributors. Uh, you have the low hanging fruit with the level of difficulty, but that might be something that you might want to add on, on some of the issues, like working with uh, the engineers on the team. Because uh, one of the things I, I do tell a lot of the community members is just to look, look for issues with that label. Um, so that might be another uh, one that you may want to look at. Um, Perfect. I can yeah. definitely look at our accepting merge request issues and kind of filter on um, more simple issues that we're expecting to be delivered with a, a, le a low level of effort and kind of affix that, that label to it as well. Right. And then I'm going to share my screen as well. Hopefully you can see this. Uh, I was just looking at uh, the MRs that are sort of in progress from community members with on their release uh, management stage. Uh, yeah, we looks it looks like we have like a lot of them in flight. And uh, I mean, good news is that most of these have been open in the last couple of weeks, so we don't have anything that's been sitting around for a long time waiting for a reviewer. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then it looks like we have like 30, 38 that's merged already. Uh, it's already seeing good uh, community contribution and, and activities, uh, which is great. So. And I'm really glad you pulled up the open ones because yeah. that yeah. timestamp is really important. We do try to prioritize this and get these community contributions merged in ASAP. Right, right. No, I mean, some of these, I mean, even like, I mean, what I find is that even documentation one, I mean, these aren't like necessarily trivial. It, it requires some back and forth in a lot of cases, but yeah, I mean, I would just, uh, I mean, in, in some stages, like I, we see like MRs that's been open for like months, but I don't see any of that in, in release management. So kudos to all of you folks on the release management team. But this is awesome. So. Uh, so, I mean, I guess sort of the related questions, I mean, do you like as a team get together and, and look at what's on, uh, what's open and, and, um, and make sure they're progressing or like everybody just being good corporate citizens? But. So typically I look at community contributions in the release stage uh, weekly and mm -hmm. kind of work with my EM to make sure that we have capacity accounted for so that right. we can make sure in any given month we have enough time dedicated to merge. What's great is that we have a Kanban workflow uh, where if we have issues that are ready for development, we keep our WIP limits pretty close. So right. people can always prioritize these reviews, uh, making it really cool. easy for the team to self-serve. Cool, awesome. And then for people that are listening, if, if it ever becomes an issue where you don't feel like you're getting uh, the timely uh, feedback or attention that, that you like. I mean, feel free to ping either one of us, Jackie or myself. And uh, I mean, you can, I mean, what I tell people is that, you know, pinging anybody at GitLab is a fair game uh, for issues and MRs. Like we're employees, but we're also community members. So if people have any concerns about timeliness on, on feedback, just, uh, just let us know. Yeah, and I would say we definitely had a, had a case where one MR ended up hanging out for a couple of milestones, and it just took a, a couple of uh, maintainer cycles to get that merged in. So it definitely right. has happened to us in the past, and the person contributing was really eager to get it merged in, and it was definitely effective to ping everyone that you can on it. Makes makes a lot of right. sense to help lubricate it through. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, thanks for your time, Jackie, and and for the the intro. I mean, what I'll probably what I might actually do. Uh, you mentioned like in earlier slides. You mentioned uh, or it, so I might have her uh, come back and talk talk to community members about progressive delivery. So it's another good reminder. 
Definitely. She has a lot of really cool features that people would, would are anxious to get and that they're available right. for community contributions too. Right. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, Jackie. And uh, for the most part, I think the Wi-Fi uh, was, was good for, for the presentation. So glad it, uh, glad we're able to plow through. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Joy's joys of working from home sometimes. Like you you can't take good Wi Fi connection for granted. So I know, that is for yeah. sure. All right. All right. Well have a good rest of your day and uh I'll talk to you again soon. All right. Sounds good. Sure. Thank you. Bye.